My name is Erin Shelley and I am a daycare owner. My mother, her health was starting to decline pretty rapidly and I was kind of posed with a question, should I start looking for facilities that could kind of accommodate the needs that she would need um, or do I continue to really try and take care of her? on my own and everyone and or life I should say kind of was telling me no like it would be too much or you know it's just a lot to take on but I chose to say yes in that situation. By saying yes to that no it really allowed me to see all that I'm capable of and all that all the tools that I already possess. I felt like this was the best thing for her, it was the best thing for our situation. Trust yourself, trust who, who you are, trust in what you believe in, trust in the power that God has already put in us and just tap into that and stop always looking for an answer from the outside and really just tap into what God has placed inside of me. Saying yes to that kind of prepared me for a greater no. And it's a whole lot easier to just go with the no. You know, saying yes, you're going to be challenged. Saying yes, you're going to get pushed to your limit, um, but it also, it, you're going to come out stronger. I made those sacrifices and I stepped outside of my comfort zone just for the, you know, simple, the love that I have for my mom. To say yes when life says no is to just, you know, you're determined, you know, just to keep going or to go with your gut or go with what you feel God wants you to do. Um, and you're, you're stepping up to the challenge. You're stepping up, you're not, you're not giving in, you're not giving up, but you're stepping up wherever it might lead, wherever, you know, how you might end up, you don't know. And it's really just stepping out on faith.